Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the rough look, but I'm in the middle of starting my garage door. I have done my front door. I've done my um, shutters and stuff like that, but I got some news I want to bring to you. So we're going to jump right into it. Definitely hit that like button as this is a way to support, truly, truly support the channel, watching the video all the way through and also hitting that like button. If you feel like you can share it, please, by all means, share the video. But I appreciate any support that I can get over here. So um, it's a lot happening. It's a lot happening. So I have a couple of stories I want to bring to you. This first one here is active right now as far as um, they even doing a news briefing. So I'm going to tell you what it's about real short and then go over to the news briefing. Um, so this is in Raleigh, North Carolina, where this is happening. Raleigh police tracked down the suspect in a week-long shooting spree after surveillance camera footage showed his Hyundai Sonata at one of the houses hit by a gunfire. Officers then analyzed, apparently this person who is a college student has been going around shooting into homes, businesses, you name it. Officers then analyzed cell tower data and learned the same Hyundai had been at five of the shooting locations where spent uh, shell casings were found from a 45 caliber handgun. Warrants now show that police seized a 45 caliber handgun, uh, spent cases, and a box of ammunition while searching Andrew Thomas Graney. And I do have a picture of him also. They searched his house on Kent Ford Court and his uh, 2015 Hyundai Sonata. Graney, 23, is a senior majoring in anthropology at North Carolina State University. Graney remained in Wake Forest Jail Friday, so he has been arrested. So here's a picture of the guy. Let me make sure you can see it. Assault with a dangerous weapon and intent to kill, um, inflicting serious injury. That's what it's saying. 11 counts of firing a weapon into an occupied vehicle and or dwelling. The Raleigh Police Department strives to make Raleigh the safest city. So we'll see because I heard the Raleigh was not the safest city, but. So officials are condemning racist text messages sent to black residents in several states. So officials and universities in several U.S. states condemn racist text messages that were sent to black residents on Wednesday. The messages, which had almost identically identical language, rather, told the recipient they they had been selected for a cotton picking. Well, to that, I say, you got your cotton picking mine. Are you crazy? So in a statement, the FBI said it was aware of the offensive and racist text messages sent to individuals around the country and said it is in contact with the Justice Department and other federal authorities. The text messages were received by people in the states, including Alabama, Texas, Georgia, Florida, Maryland, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Ohio, New York, and Massachusetts. CBS News found NAACP President Derek Johnson condemned the messages and said they rep miss, well, they represent an alarming increase in vile and abhorrent rhetoric. The texts were sent from numbers with area codes in the in at least 25 different states. By Thursday, several numbers were disconnected while others went to voicemail and identified them as text now users, a provider that allows people to create phone numbers for free. Wednesday, and it's, it's not ironic or coincidental, like Nene Leak say, is, is it a coincidence? <laughs> it's not that when we know that we now have a new president and a lot of people are against the new president and a lot more are for the new president. And not everybody that voted for Trump, I know, is not like, you know, a racist, but these text messages were to offend, to hurt, 
to shock. Um, it was not a prank. So the person that said it was a prank, kick rocks <laughs> because that was not a prank. So I don't know. You know, it just needs to stop. It just needs to stop. That's why we all need to keep our head on a swivel. Definitely keep keep God first. Stop putting all your faith and your trust in any individual. I don't care if they are Republican or Democrat. Stop putting all your trust and faith and hope and all that stuff in them. Because at the end of the day, they are human. Only one person will sure enough be the one that you need to put all your tr your trust and your faith into that will never fail you um because man will fail you each and every time man and woman will fail you each and every time approximately 100 vehicles were stranded after a semi-truck jackknife on a rural new mexico highway as a potent Winter storm blasted northern parts of the state and Colorado on Thursday. Y'all get yourself prepped up. I cannot say it enough. Y'all know I was going to throw that in there. This is a homesteading channel. And what homesteaders do is they, they try to get prepped up as much as they possibly can if they can afford. Okay, because this homestead on a budget. I can't afford everything. But make sure you have your back up to your backups in case something fail you down the road. Have your food, your water, your medications, your blankets, your socks, your whatever it is you need in your house, make sure you have it, your backup power. So, because mm -mm -mm, we don't know when what the weather's going to do because for one, I've been on my phone for the pay every day because I'm trying to get my house, the 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 prime, not the prime, but the gel stain put on. Okay, I need days of sun to do that. So it's supposed to have been sunny today, tomorrow, whatever. I get up this morning, it's misty raining. But yet on my phone, it's showing that the sun is shining right now. So, I mean, you always got to see the sunshine through the rain, I know. But I'm like, um, this weather is very unpredictable. Even in South Carolina, I heard them say that it was um, gonna be 80 degrees there like it's november 8th like for real so anyway more than 5.8 million people across colorado and new mexico were under winter storm warnings as heavy snow created difficult or impossible travel conditions in part of the states albuquerque i mean not albuquerque yeah in albuquerque the national weather service um, said that in Albuquerque. Accumulating snow has led to road closures and triggered several accidents during what the weather service has described as a powerful early season snowstorm. I mean, they could tell you is, you know, the temp could just drop like that. So making sure your house is prepared um, for the cold. Do you have you know, your windows sealed up good and all that other stuff. Do you have something to cover up your pipes if they're exposed? Those type of things. Making sure, you know, if you have animals, they have what they need, especially if they're outside animals. Um, more than 10 inches of snow have fallen in parts of the state with more snow continuing to fall. A NWS spokesperson told CNN, additionally, 20 miles per hour winds are contributing to a wind chill of about 17 degrees. Winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour have created near blizzard conditions and snow drifts exceeding eight feet. I forgot to show y'all that video um, that they were doing at the press conference. I hope I remember before I get off though. Um, that's opposite of what California is dealing with, but they're dealing with winds and stuff like that and pushing the fires and here uh, Colorado and New Mexico, they're dealing with the snow and the winds. So it's conditions crazy everywhere. Dozens of drivers in northeastern New Mexico's Union County, one of five counties under a blizzard warning, became stuck in US on US Highway 64 slash 87 um, after a jackknife semi-truck blocked traffic and snow drifts built up on the road. Because there ain't no cars moving that is just going to accumulate faster than I don't know what. Oh, my Lord. What 
is this? Category 3 Hurricane Raphael Friday, November 8th update. So what's up? What is going on with that? I have not been paying attention. Let's see real quick since we're just doing news you can use over here. This is where it is. Update Category 3 Hurricane Raphael is 245 miles north, northeast of Progreso, Mexico and 585 miles east um, of mouth of the Rio Grande. Uh, maximum sustained winds 120 miles per hour. Is it coming to Florida? Let me know. Now, I'm not in Florida, but let me know. It says Rafael is expected to move over the central Gulf of Mexico for the next few days. By tonight, a steady weekend trend is forecast and should continue through the weekend. Yesterday, Rafael became a category three. Wow, I didn't even know that. Last time I checked, it was a one with sustained winds of 120 miles per hour after intensifying from a Category 2. Uh, so as of right now, they're not saying that it's headed to Florida like one of the models did um, show, but I'm sure they're going to keep track of it. If it changes, I will definitely let you guys know. So I'm going to go... I think that was the last one that I had. So I need to go back to that video where I was talking about. Let me do the recall. Let me just get clear out some of my things because it'll be for. And the recall is some medication that has um, oral yes. wait a minute i'll put it back on b after i read this um it's a recall that has medication that has phenol phenol ephrine phenol ephrine I had to look up how to say it, even though, you know, it's found in Dayquil. Did I see? No. It's found in Dayquil. I'm sorry, y'all. Theraflu, Theraflu and other popular decongestants. Um, I, I know. I hope they not. I hope the um, little drops that I take are not on this list because I think they have that in there and them things really do work. So anyway, they're being pulled from pharmacy shelves. What the FDA is planning after finding the ingredient in ineffective. Oh, here we go. Here we go. With cold and flu season about to kick into high gear, it's time to restock on your medication cabinets. Okay. They saying the same thing I'll be saying y'all go ahead and get stocked up. But you may want to reconsider buying one long one long time favorite, my favorite, which is still available at some stores. And found in products by brands including Sudafed, PE, Vicks, Dayquil, and Theraflu. Now we had this whole conversation a few months back. If I, I, I know I'm not mistaken, I told y'all that they were doing that then and they were pulling these items off the shelf. So what, why are we still talking about this? Um, the proposal comes over a year. Yep, I knew I had done it after advisors to the FDA unanimously concluded that it is not actually effective, not effective and works no better than a placebo pill at relieving congestion so anyway they got a recall on all of those things now let's go back to let's go back 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 not to cali um here it is. okay so i kind of paused it where i wanted it to be and then i'm gonna skip through it so i'm not playing their whole thing because i don't have time to be getting copyright by youtube today I mean, all kind of crazy stuff going on. Let me make sure my volume is up. Should have did that from the jump, though. This is concerning the shooting in Raleigh. A reward of up to $10,000 is being offered for information leading to the arrest 
of the person or persons responsible for these crimes. You may contact Crime Stoppers at 919-996-3335, or you can visit Crime Stoppers at RaleighCrimestoppers.org and click Leave a Tip on the top right of the page. I have to tell you that I'm extremely grateful and appreciative of the partnership of our public safety partners. Now, this obviously was before. This was obviously yesterday before they captured him, but they do believe that there are other people. So. Hi, this is Carly Hayes with WREL. Uh, earlier today, RPD told us that the incident around NC State was no credible threat to the public. How were you able to come to that decision knowing there was a suspect that was still out there, but yet no confirmation at that point that those incidents were related? So we made a decision based on the information that we had at the time and then continue to work those investigations as much as we can. Um, I'm very pleased to say that we have a person of interest detained and we are going to continue to follow that lead and any other leads that we have. Uh, do we have any idea yet whether or not this person may have been on foot in another car in any of these incidents? We're still investigating that. We don't have that information. They're not going to tell you everything they have, so. How many people were taken in custody? We saw two on our helicopter video. We currently have two individuals detained. And you mentioned 12 incidents? That, that is correct. We have had um, a total of 12 incidents. We had eight vehicles fired into and then two buildings. And I believe that we have shared that information with you in each uh, particular incident. Okay, I'm going to move on to uh, questions of Sarah Ashley. This person may have been on foot in another car in any of these incidents. We're still investigating that. We don't have that information. Um, I don't know that we have. Can we? Sometimes I, I try to figure out why they even have press conferences when majority of their responses are, we don't have that yet or we can't release that information. I'm just saying, don't come out until you have a little bit more. But anyway, that's what's happening around this country. You just have to try to figure out well, no, you don't have to try to figure out because you be spending the rest of your life trying to figure people out. Why? What would make somebody do that, what that young man did, and he's in college? What would make people call up people and say what they said? Um, I don't know. That's why prayer is real. And we truly have to, honestly, I can only lean on God and give it all to Jesus. Okay, my sweet baby, Jesus. Okay, won't he do it? And that's all I can say to that because it's some, it's some crazy stuff going on. Um, I expect it's going to get even more crazy. And I think it'll calm down eventually. But until then, keep your head on a swivel. Get your house together for the winter get your house together for any kind of emergency okay um because you just never ever know y'all take care stay safe sorry this was a longer video than i wanted it to be but things just wasn't acting right today okay and now i'm about to go out here and finish up painting my garage and um because it's 2 15 yeah i have like a hour and a half to get it done before I pick my daughter up. So I will see y'all in another video. Um, I don't know if it'll be tonight, but definitely tomorrow. I love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only one. you be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love because God is love. That is what he would want you to do. But first, before you can do any of that, you need to love yourself because if you can't love yourself, don't expect nobody else to love you. If you can't love yourself, I don't expect you to be able to give love in return. And I want so much for y'all to prosper and have in abundance what God wants you to have. Okay? Pray in the morning, pray in the middle of the day, and pray at night. Hallelujah. See y'all later. Toodles. Smooches.